Windows XP leak confirmed after user compiles the leaked code into a working OS. And I guess XP is kind of at that age where you start to expect leaks and uh, need to yeah. put on some protection <laughs> for that. Well, you know, this news actually broke last week, but I passed on it because it wasn't confirmed, uh, that a huge leak of Microsoft source code was posted on 4chan, which is uh, another great source of That's news. still a thing? I thought uh, they got rid of that. That's never like gone anywhere. Yeah. No, yeah. there is 8chan, oh, but, it, but, but 4chan the 4chan still, still exists, exists yes. Yeah. So, so anyhow, it got posted there. Somebody grabbed all this source code, threw it onto a BitTorrent feed, and so it is being distributed. Uh, in it, it claimed to have the source code for a ton of stuff. Uh, DOS 6.0, Windows NT 3.51, Windows NT 4, NT 2000, or Windows 2000, uh, and Windows XP, just the straight-up source code. Uh, a couple of Microsoft employees off the record said it looked like incomplete code, but this week... Someone took the code and actually compiled it into a working operating system, proving that it is the legit stuff. The source code of Windows XP has leaked. Uh, why is this a news article, right? Yeah, Windows XP is not supported know. anymore. Who cares? I'm going to start selling my own XP. <laughs> the problem is a lot of technology used in Windows XP is still used in Windows 10. You know, Windows 10 is not like some fresh new rewrite of everything. So, you know, it, it still relies on some things inside of it that are uh, just part and parcel of Windows XP. So the theory, and, and we'll see what Daniel thinks because he'll have a different perspective on this, mm -hmm. is potentially attackers could use this, you know, dig through the Windows XP source code to locate vulnerabilities that weren't noticed before and see if those still exist in Windows 10. Hey, Daniel, is that a realistic fear? I mean, that, that seems plausible, at least, um, that that would be the case. It just depends on how much code base is being shared between XP and the current version of Windows or any of the other versions in between. I guess that would also be something you have to look out for because if that's what they're doing, they're basically building off of previous versions and, hey, this is not broke, so we're not going to fix it, but we are sure as hell going to add it to the next version of our operating system, then, yeah, if you find something that's wrong and it shares that code base with any of the other operating systems, it, it should, in theory, work. You should probably just have to do some minor modifications to for architecture or environmental things that, that could cause it to be a problem, but... Yeah, I think if you think back to Windows XP and, and what's been added since then, right? So Windows XP had user account control added as an afterthought, right? It was bolted mm -hmm. on in like Service Pack 2 and the Windows firewall was bolted on in Service Pack 3. So that stuff wasn't originally coded in the OS. And then starting with Windows Vista, you know, Windows 7, Windows 10, now all that stuff is built in by default. So there have been a lot of security features added since Windows XP was was you know reached service pack three and end of life and all that so i imagine if you start digging through the code and locating vulnerabilities many of them are probably mitigated by stuff we have in place now yeah but then then you see things like like you know like day job blue or the um when we just got the zero logon right is that going to be a problem like this that that translates yeah. backwards right that's been around so a long long time that seems like so if it works on 10 and it works on 7 and 8 and XP, so that would make me think that there are some lurking problems that just haven't been discovered and now could possibly be. Yeah. And we'd see a new wormable type of uh, malware or something. And with a compiled OS, they would have to do like fuzzing or something to be right. able to try and find this. But now if they can just look at the source code, they can just go spot, crazy. Yeah. Hey, and I guess they would look for, there's easy stuff. Like it's easy to spot a variable that's not typed right. And so you can do a buffer overflow or something, right? right? That's easy to find. Yeah, you'll see those things that just kind of stick out because they thought, well, it's, you know, it's buried in, or you just missed it because there's a lot of code that's going on there. You got multiple developers working on things. Uh, this millions is, of lines of code. Right. This is why we are doing, or you should be doing, you know, static code analysis, having people look over that things and make that part of your uh, secure SDLC. Yeah. So, yeah. and Windows XP was written at a time when Microsoft was not security focused, right? Remember, no, right. Uh, they they did that whole one year where they froze all new features to focus just on security. That's yeah. what Windows XP Service Pack three was all about. So, uh, it's potential that there's a lot of stuff in there. It's it's very likely, and I I noticed that in this article, I followed it to the original article. I think this was one of those um, was a slash dot. Yeah. So slash, I followed it to the original article that the slash dot was uh, talking about. And there were uh, YouTube videos within that post of the person saying, oh, no, I, I compiled it and it worked. And here's, the, here's a YouTube video of me doing it. They're all struck by Microsoft uh, the copyright claims. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's all, yeah, it's all down right now. Hmm.
Oh, well, I, I just got mine compiled. There it is. There it <laughs> is. Good job. Good yeah. job, Peter. So, yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.